This is the box that the Elegoo Jupiter 12.8 inch 6K resin printer arrived in. Now, this printer was funded by a Kickstarter project and I pledged on the Kickstarter project in good faith that they would deliver it and they have indeed delivered it. It's quite a box. It's a massive printer, far bigger than anything I have, whether resin or regular FDM printer. And this came all the way from the factory in China. The box looks like it survived decently well. It looks like the foot there hasn't done so good. The foot's coming off on one foot at least on one side. The bottom's kind of coming out a little bit when you lift it up. I think there's another, it looks like there's another cardboard box inside there. And so the outer wood crate was to protect the inner cardboard box. Now, I'm not even sure where I'm gonna put this printer. It's so big. I'm gonna have to get another set of small shells to put this printer on. What's strange is the top of this box is held on with these latches. It looks like they got ripped off somewhere and then the, then the top just got all taped on. And there's actually hinges on the back too, which is interesting. Uh, at one point, I guess, well, there's one hinge. I don't know what happened to the other hinge. That's a strange box there. Indeed, inside of this box is another box. Oh my gosh, that's heavy. I think the best thing to do is probably to break off the bottom or something. It's a box in a box. Looks like someone left their rag in here. Here we go. It's got pretty thick padding on there. Now this is pretty heavy for one person to lift. I think I'm just gonna have to tear off the foam in the bottom. uneven on the floor. I don't know if that's the frame is crooked or if the floor is uneven. Uh, definitely the feet are uneven. The frame seems pretty strong. Hey, with all the feet screwed in, it seems pretty solid. Yeah, it's like very stable with all the feet screwed in. It seems like everything survived really well. It's all sheet metal in the exterior. Well built, there's no dents or anything anywhere. Let's check out what it looks like inside. Oh, more foam inside. It's behind this foam. More foam, yay. Let's take this out first. This, we got this toolbox that's included with it with quite a bit of tools in here and the power supply and adapter and storage for stuff. This is the FEP release film liner. And two pieces of spare FEP film. Here's the massive build plate. And the build plate is quite rough. It's been blasted with a very coarse grit. You know, although this build plate is quite large, it's really like, it's really long in width. So I can't foresee printing like a helmet, for example, in one piece, it would fit on your head. You could do it in two pieces and glue it together. And here is the vat down here. And so there's a instruction sheet on top of the vat. This is the first instructions I've seen. I haven't looked inside of the toolbox there. Jupiter leveling instruction card. And we have this massive vat here. That's gonna use up a lot of resin. Looks like you need to completely unscrew the screws every time you wanna remove the vat. There's no quick release there. Have a look at this massive vat here. It's got a space in the back to hold the resin bottle so it can keep filling with resin. It looks like it's kind of like a pet watering device. Whenever the resin drops below the level of the opening of the feeding bottle, it fills it back up. 
It looks like there's a protective film here in addition to the FEP film. And yes, it is probably supposed to be removed first. That's the protective film that comes on with the FEP film. They just left it on there. There's also a protective film applied over the LCD here. So I need to look at the instructions first to see if this protective film stay on there or if they get removed. Let's have a look at the accessories that came with it. So we have the two pieces of FEP release film liner. There's this toolbox, comes with a manual. We got some masks. I don't know if that's for coronavirus or for the resin. There's this air purifier that appears to be a USB powered cartridge. Some hex wrenches, rubber gloves, some extra screws, a hex screwdriver. These are the feed caps for the resin. So these are gonna screw on top of the resin bottles and you're gonna flip them over into that space in the back of the vat and it's spring loaded to open when you clip it down in there, when you press and twist down in there. We've got our power supply here, some resin filters, spatula. I don't recommend using the spatula to scrape the film because this will damage the film. The spatula is good for scraping the build plate, but not the film. For the film, you should get a silicone spatula and use that only for the film because this will do damage to the film in my experience. Came with some flush cutters a metal spatula for scraping off the build plate also, a serial license for chai tu box, and a USB key, which I don't know if it's just for transferring information or if it has some files on it, some software on it. I see on the side that it does have a USB input, on off switch, DC, a network plug. So hopefully we can connect it up to the network and just send files over the network. There were some extra goodies inside the box. We got a little wire extension from somewhere and a screw. Hopefully it's not one that fell off the machine. I'm gonna be using this 18 by 24 inch wire shelf cart for the stand for the Elegoo Jupiter printer. And I'm gonna add some more shells up here at a shelf right above it. I have some more shells for storage there of printer related stuff. So it fits perfectly on these shelves. These shelves cost anywhere from like $100 to $150. Seville sells them for about $100. Sometimes you can find them at Sam's for about $100. So it's a pretty good stand for that and completely adjustable. And rollable too, because it's got caster wheels on there. So you can move it around. 